and welcome aboard. This is part episode 53, part 5. Not actually been made yet, part 5. But what I'm doing, I'm just explaining something before I start making my next film that <clears throat> I'm trying to reply to you guys on YouTube and on Google Plus, which I hate. I can't do it. Watch, like, so we've got Lazelle. Thanks, Lazelle, for watching the films. Uh, I want to reply to Lazelle. So there's a mouse there. Okay, so uh, reply. And what do we get? A load of crap. Nothing. No box to come up to. Can't work out what the hell is going on. I want to tell people thank you, and I can't. Mart, I'll have to do it manually. Um, virtually, if you will. Virtually with my camera. So, Steve B, you've been there for a while following us, so thanks for all your words there. I'm glad good to see you used to have a GXL. Yeah, I remember you telling me that on the earlier ones. Hold on, I've got to take a call. I'll be right back. Well, I told you I'd get in the garage. Right, bench is cleared. Clocks are here. Right, look at that, 89,251. That's when Swampy parked up in that field in 1987. And never made it out. What we got then, Swampy's dashboard. Look at that inner rim, the inner cowling. It's uh, rusted out. The faces of the clocks we're going to inspect. We don't know what they're like. We have got new clocks, so don't worry about that. But let's have a scan through. Okay, here's a donor dashboard. You'll note that the clock is on the opposite side because they swap them later on. Okay, so we're going to be inspecting things like perspexes, clock faces and the internals and just see how we're looking. Now, what's inside there? A spider that never made it out. So, the first job is to strip this original dash down, take some notes, see how it's set up and then look at how we're going to rebuild it. Okay, um, there's the inner cowling I'm intending to use, very very clean. So, looking at making this as clean as we can. Right, clock knob adjuster off. Oh, I think it is an original one. It's got the captive screw built in it, allows you to rotate it. Um, whether or not it had a finishing cap on, I don't know. Refer to manual question for you uh, aficionados out there. Another little question for you. Okay, into the tub. Leaving us with. There you, there, there you go. Down she goes, and now there's your perspex. So part number on that, 7171BB. 10B885DA, and it's that DA that uh, I think dictates the, the layout, I think. Okay, what can we do with that? Small crack in the right there, I think hidden by the dash. Small crack there, but it hasn't got the crazing across like they often have. Uh, some plastic cleaner could see that salvageable so we might be fine we might be okay because if you remember I've only got one correct orientated front and that this is this is it if I use the other perspex of that dash that I bought on eBay I'm switching the clock to the right so if I want to go this way this is what I'd have to use so it's not bad that one as I said there's you there's the, the damage the only damage I can see is that split but I think that's just on the edge of the clock, so it's not going to be seen. So, that off, bezel off. Oh, wait, plastic face is off. Leaving us with what we've got. And there's your internal. Right, I'm going to pull those screws off the top now, and then we're going to go from behind and get those off there. Here we go. Nope. Just about. 
grinding, a lot of rust have surrounded it where that it sandwiches on the metal bezel. Let's get some foam down. So let that rest on the foam there. Well, it is a review of what we've got. See how the rust's got into Swampy's dash. Some rust on the faceplate. Clock's not too bad. Rev count is not that bad. I wonder if it'll bl blast off that. Nah. It's just the uh, speedo has got the rust on it. Okay, gonna take out the instruments now, those three, so I can clean this backing plate once I clean up. So I'll pull the instruments out next, put them somewhere safe. Let's show you where we're at. This cowling is what I'm interested in with the dash, so. Right, cover off. Am I going to be in luck? Okay. So, look how good that is inside there. It's real clean. So this is going to be good for somebody who needs a dash. I'll, I'll save this. Don't worry. Um, the Perspex front's already taken. I've got someone lined up who needs that. But there's some internals there for someone. Here's the piece I'm interested in. Okay. So, what we got... Let's get Swampy's old unit. Let's compare them. Are we going to be in luck? Hmm. Let's have a look. Looks the s -s 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 same. Which means we're in. Now, straight away I noticed this, this blue here. What's going on? What's this? That's painted a dark blue. There it isn't. Uh, I wanna wonder what that's all about. When they do these things, it... Uh, Gets my mind going and say, what uh, was someone doing? They've painted that, curiously, in dashboard blue. <laughs> okay, it looks the same. I'm good. So Swampig now gets a nice, clean faceplate. Of course, I can't use the Perspex because the holes for the Speedo and the uh, clock. But Swampy's faceplate was okay. So off with that one. And tidy. So to one side. One piece stuck on, clipped on, stuck on. Peel at the bottom and just let it slot out. There she goes. Let's grip at the bottom. That sits free. All right, off she goes. So you can see why now on the face of your clocks that's visible. So too rusty. Now, okay, we could do something with this, but. It's looking quite, it's actually better than I thought in terms of could it be repaired because initially I thought these were individual and you wouldn't have access to this. That's quite easy to refurb looking at it. You could strip that and get that done in white and then I think that blue is something to do with lighting the dash up. Some kind of reflective gives it some kind of effect. But um, actually could, if the rust's not pickled through it okay no need to do it because I've got this one but um, in case if I was really stuck I could have got away with it right so two plastic cow wings are they the same let's have a look on there we'll compare part numbers double A on that 10841 double A 10841 double A same component on the GXL as the L base dash so basically Hello to a nice new plastic surround, not that it really makes a lot of difference, it's that hidden, but keeps it neat. So all we've got to do is put the perspex off uh, Swamp Peas onto this good surround, save that perspex, we'll screw it onto this to keep it safe so it's transportable. Okay, so you're looking at that, would be going over that, and straight away you can begin to see that it's going to look clean. So what we're going to do now check these part codes on the back and all I'm going to do is put Swampy's dials into this change the perspex, put it back together and that is your dash done quite easy, quicker than a thought so we're having a look to see if this base 
will take a clock. So in theory, there should be cut out holes. Illumination and indicators, I feel, may be in a different place. Let's have a look. This is most likely different. On the front, it's the same. What's it like on the back? Let's have a look. Can I flip that? No, I might damage it. Uh, hang on. I'll do it without the camera. Off for now. Right, the backing plates are totally different. Can't be used, so we'll just in the dishwasher with this one making sure that it's not painted on the inside as long as that plastic is the actual plastic a cool dishwasher not too hot in case it fades it so although it looks like it's already faded compared to that um, different backs that's flat and then this one takes the cutouts or the recesses for the instruments rev counter and clock so I've got to keep this backing piece so full strip down now of this complete strip down of this swampy dash this is now no good, so pair the rusty bezel back on to there. Swampy's rusty front onto there. Pop some screws back in and we'll build that back up. That's now a rough L dash, but with good faces. Okay, put that to one side just for now. Down there she goes. Oh, do you like me GXL sign by the way? keep us inspired little surprise for you there just so we know what we're heading for Ooh, there's your dash right time to take this perspex off and put it on to there and then screw all that up so that's nice and safe okay then let's get these stripped down Oh, you can see a bit better up there. I'm now hands free. It's getting professional, really. Date on that is. 20, 26 of July 71. 26, it could be 1, 71, it looks like 7, 71. So there's your Kienzel clock, which is incidentally seized up. But I reckon we get that going, that looks clean to me. It won't take much to get that going. Okay. There's actually nothing wrong with it. I'm keeping it. How the hell has that needle sagged? No one's ever touched it. I don't think I've caught that. In Iceland, the human feet perspire half a pint of fluid per day. There you go. That's disgusting. No, it's not disgusting. It's brilliant. If you ever wonder what gives you that sort of crazy effect on your indicators and on your uh, uh, fuel and, uh, not fuel, your ignition and um, oil lines, like this one, this green there, what are going to do it with this torch? Hold on. I get the see that's got a craze craze effect it's not a flat it's not a, a flat um, disc of light if you will it's, they all do it well what it is is sellotape at the back it's crinkled up but I think it adds to the character so that's staying so they're all like that and I, I like that I'm not going to change it little blue disc in the back and then the sellotapes on the top. I'll check out with a light behind it and see what they look like. And if it looks... No, I'm, I'm keeping that. I'm happy with them. I like the way they come perfect. So the face of the rev counter is not rusted. The face of the rev counter is okay. So, it's a keeper for me. I know I've got some new clocks. You saw that on another video. But, as much as swampy as I can is going back. I like his clocks. Dash uh, speed over frayed is rusty. Have a look. Wait till the camera locks onto its focus. 